Hey everybody, happy probably Monday I'll be posting this, maybe Monday night. I, uh, yeah, we had an interesting weekend. I was gone, so I didn't really make anything on it. I had, uh, inter whatever, it doesn't matter. I'm making a video now, because I feel like if I don't address this, then, I don't know, it's weird, because I've made a video for even the tiniest stuff, so whatever. I'm gonna, I'm gonna talk about it. Uh, and, well, I guess, what am I talking about? Well, I'm talking about the fact that the Ford Lightning F-150 is sold out for the 2022 model year. Um... Now, it's not as big of a blow if we remember that, well, the Pro model sold out weeks ago, the XLT sold out a couple, like, an, also weeks ago, like, maybe last week, whatever. They've been sold out for a while. So, first of all, if you were even able to order uh, during Wave 5 or Wave 6, which is now not going to happen, you'd only have the options to get Lariat or uh, Platinum. So, if you're not spending, you know, what is it, 68 K or whatever or higher, then you'd be postponing your reservation either way. So I'd say the majority of reservation holders, this news means nothing to them just because, well, they've been sold out for a while. And if they've been following the news, they already knew that they would have to push the reservation to next year. So <clears throat> it's not a huge blow. For me, it's a bummer because I was going to probably go with a Lariat. So uh, my, I don't know, I have a theory that they, they're not like out of material. They're not sold out or anything. It's just maybe they were getting a lot of um, maybe customer complaints or something that they sold out of the main two, I guess main two, uh, you know what I mean. The the cheaper two, we'll say, uh, fast. Part of that too was probably the fact that half the people who were making Wave 5 just deferred their order because they weren't going to be able to afford the Lariat or higher. So a combination of all that and just probably convenience on Ford ends made them say, let's just call it for 2022 and that's it's fine for a reason we'll get into later so we're ready for 2023 now i don't think it's uh, that big of a blow so a lot of people man i'm on the forums and stuff and even the people the things you guys are commenting are like you guys are mad and i get it don't get me wrong especially i, I know a couple of you guys are day one reservation holders and just didn't even get a call so that that stinks however I mean, I want to try to reframe it because obviously we can't change what's happening. It's This is just the way that it's going. It, it was kind of expected after a couple of weeks ago we found out the other ones were sold out. Like 2023 model, like if you watched my – oh, by the way, sorry, I'm all over the place right now, but – uh, my, I, my first episode of my, you know, video podcast came out with, uh, Tim Bartz and I think he confirmed and we both talked about 2023 years for a little and the fact that we think that'll be right around the corner. In fact, he has some literature or he couldn't remember and the email we got, it all said orders for 23 is already going to be in the summer. So we wait two or three months and start ordering again. Like it's not like we have to wait literally a whole new year. So for that reason, I'm still in, and I think you should too. At least see what kind of ordering they end up doing for 2023. Now, maybe there'll be a couple other things you could add on. Don't expect anything crazy. And in fact, maybe even in, expect a tiny bit of a price increase because as we saw a couple weeks ago, they're raising the price for the standard F-150. My guess is similar parts that are causing that to go up might affect the Lightning just as much. And as we saw in Rivian, of course, there's no guarantee that we've locked in prices. So regardless of what your dealer says or anything like that, I want to expect it be huge to be huge, probably a grand or two. Hopefully that's doable. Who knows? We have a lot to see for the 2023 mile year. So to back up, I think it's fine. It's fine. I, w I mean, especially if you were already out of the 2020, if you were out on the pro and XLT, then this news means nothing to you again. Like it's, totally fine. You're just going to get to order in the summer with a fourth quarter turnaround, according to uh, what Tim's uh, ex er, estimation was. So you'll still get a lightning in 2022, assuming you're somewhat high on the list still. Now that brings me to my next point. I've seen a comment on my channel, comment on the forums, might even be the same guy, but I, to me, it spoke very loudly and it's multiple people. It's not just one guy, but thinking that Ford's not honoring the list or when you ordered it. They were saying, I'm day one and I didn't get to order. Well, let's talk about what happened because I've been following it closely and I can give you my insight there because it really, you're right in some respect, but at the same time, let's just lay out what happened. Ready? <clears throat> 
right around the time before pricing came out, dealers were sent a list, and it was in order of reservation date of who at their at their dealer that went in order. So that you know proves that Ford did their job there. However, they you know as we found out, kind of made a mistake or whatever you want to call it, allowed dealers to prioritize a chunk of those. So meaning no matter where you're on the list, they could scooch some people up. You could move some people. I don't think you could move some people down, but you could put people in front of them. So between five and 25, they were allowed allowed to reallocate. So knowing that, yeah, some people did kind of get screwed. If you were first on the list and the dealer put two of their favorite customers in front of you, that was totally allowed. And there's nothing you could do about it. The the shiny bright side is that you're still high on the list because they were only allowed to move a certain amount above you, assuming they did. Not every dealer did that. A lot of them did, though. Assuming they moved them in front of you, you will probably be on the list, which is good for 2023 because there'll be more allocation. So knowing that, it's like, what are you going to do? I don't know. It's, It's just the way the cards are dealt. And as far as getting any new vehicle right now, it's hard. So patience is key. If you if you don't want to wait, then don't wait. Don't let me like dissuade you or whatever. Do what you want to do, of course, but that's just kind of my two cents here. If you want to, uh, I, I really suggest if you don't need your $100, though, see what happens because it could end up, you know, at least for the F-150 Lightning, not hitting it so hard. Maybe they hit some battery luck and start making these like crazy. Anything can happen in the next six months or so. So if you're not desperately in need of a vehicle, hold on, see what happens. Because even if you end up just having one of these, it's going to be worth its own weight, if not more than what you pay for it, just because everyone wants them so badly. So that's a whole nother game. I don't do that for that reason, of course, because that just is why we're in the predicament we're in. But know that you could buy it. Make sure you like it. If not, you'll walk away even if not making a small profit. So like that's the that's the bright side of things and why I am holding on and I'm ready to dive into this, you know, head first because I, there's really no risk to it as long as you can, you know, as long as you can afford the upfront costs and everything. There's really nothing to learn. So final thing I want to talk about and probably most important is what's going on with the tax uh incentives. Kind of a bummer. That's the worst part about being pushed to the back. So Ford still has not hit their 200,000 EV sales limit. Luckily, the short amount of lightnings means they didn't quite get there. They have about 40K to go in Q uh, in this quarter right now. So will they hit it soon? Absolutely. Did they hit it? We'll know very shortly. This quarter's almost done. So Wait, January, February, March. We got the rest of this month, actually. So they will either be very close or they'll hit it this month. And now everyone's saying the tax credit's gone. Just remember this. It phases out. So we have another year of at least some sort of incentive. So don't get too discouraged. I think if you've made your order for 2022, you've pretty much locked in your... um, your order or your tax incentive, you'll get the uh, $7,500 credit. Okay, so here's the scenarios. Ready? And I love this graphic for that reason. All right, we've lost the chance of the 18 month phase out. However, if they, so, if they hit it in March, we'll still have 16 months left of the full credit. So that's if they hit it right now. We'll still have 16 months. We'll buy ourselves an extra two months. If they don't hit it till April and that's hopefully what it'll be. They won't hit till April. And you know what? That could be a whole other reason that they cut it off. They know they could buy their self more time. Like maybe they've done the math and that's why they cut off lightning orders. Uh, I doubt it, but you never know. And that buys us until basically uh, Q3 of the end of the year, which means 2023 orders will come in and you'll, you still won't get it. However, it gets all of the existing lightning guys to, to get, or the 2022 model year guys, they will get the credit. Okay, so then the other thing to keep in mind is we have if all right, let's say the goal is this scenario three at the bottom. And I know it says Tesla, but pretend it says Ford and pretend it says 2022. (laughs) Uh, Now, if they hit that 200K mark in April, that's best case scenario here because there will be some sort of tax credit all the way up to Q3 of next year. 
Now, it won't be a lot. It's under $2,000. But hey, maybe you add the tow package and then that's rebated now because it's free. So our ideal situation, just to wrap this all up, is for Ford to hit these numbers, that 200 k threshold of EV sold in April, because that's going to spread out the tax credit at, in its longest possible way. And that means if we can get Q4 deliveries on the Lightning, we'll still get $3,700. That's better than nothing. That, I mean, it's something okay to look forward to. And it gives 2023 model years a whole extra quarter, really, of being able to get that tax credit. So hopefully that all makes sense. And hopefully it shines some bright, uh, a, a small bright light for those of us who were expecting to get the tax credit. I think those are the important things. Again, I'll stay tuned. Everyone who watched my uh, podcast episode, thank you. I have some other exciting episodes. I think I've got two or three still recorded now. Um Every week. I'm, I'm hoping to do them every week now. So, uh, yeah, I'm excited to keep turning them out. And uh, I don't know what else to say other than thank you guys so much for watching and bye. And uh, I know that's kind of like a bummer. <laughs> Why? <laughs> Sorry. Right to answer. Halfway up. <laughs> Laugh because I know. You I got to be on okay. guard. I was doing so good. It. <laughs> it was working. I know. Uh, here we are. But here we are. Brian, I'm sure you recognize from my in person lightning review yes. who was. Yes, in yes, fact. <laughs> uh, so bear with me on this. We're kind of building this on the fly. There's a turnover of the 2023 model year. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, if you guys watched my podcast that I just posted earlier today with Tim Bartz from Long Myth Marker Long Myth Long MacArthur Ford. Don't hurt yourself there, bud. <laughs> Thanks, pal. I know I'm usually in and? a and Brian, of course. If All you right. remember my review of the Lightning in person from the Auto Show, you remember my buddy Brian. He's a truck expert. In fact, he owns a truck. Isn't that correct? I do. I, uh, I think it runs on Legos. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That might be the funniest thing you've it ever likes the said. The blue ones, particularly. So. <laughs> it runs on blue Legos. Mm -hmm.